Hey summoners, what's up and welcome back. My name is Kirks and today we are going to take a look at the new High Yellow tier list. For this one we've assembled the most insightful people on the platform to deliver you the best list you can possibly find. Similar to the low ELO tier list we've improved the readability and visibility while streamlining the numbers of ranks. Tier lists are supposed to be easy and accessible and not just extras. But if you're into anything extra you're more than welcome to look at our service over at proguides.com. Give it a look in the description below and join as a free member or go premium for the $7.99 build monthly. Another thing you can get for absolute free is a glance at our top lane tier list for this patch. Take a good look around before we're right into our first pick of the patch. Before we do that though, it's time to briefly talk about the Nico mid-scope update. Given Riot's approach to balancing on new champions, we can expect a lot of changes in the upcoming weeks. Therefore, we want to give Nico a tentative placement and be very conservative with it. Now we go back to our first pick. Ragas is truly the life of the party as he is versatile in both his role and playstyle. Whether you want to tank, support or carry, Gragas has got you covered. His flexibility extends to his choices of lanes too, giving you plenty of options to shake things up. For this piece, however, we are giving him the spotlight for the top lane. One of his most popular build paths includes the Rod of Ages. The sustain provided by Catalyst of the Eons combined with Gragas passive Happy Hour means that he can practically drink his way through any tough laning matchup without breaking a sweat. But Gragas' true strength lies in his ability to make a big impact regardless of the situation. When behind, he can still contribute to his team and when ahead, he can be a true nightmare for the enemy. With his unique combination of utility, and draw power, Gragas is always a valuable pick. And it's honestly astonishing how Riot Games has not touched this champion so far. Another champion that has been an agonizing pain for top laners is our next pick. With Olaf, you have exactly what you need when it comes to aggressive laning. Something we've been trying to implement more often as of recently is telling you to sacrifice early gold for experience points. In the top lane, experience is far more valuable, especially if you're talking about early levels. Coincidentally, you'll also see a lot of champions pretty high up the list that are capable of being a bully level 1. For example, Olaf can face check bushes in lane and assume a very aggressive position. Briefly after, he can wait until the enemy is close enough to be ran down. Keep on throwing your axe and don't let them get anything for free. If you are able to get this done properly without ruining your wave in the process, you can ideally force an early dive with your jungler. And I know I'm asking for quite much here, at least for the junglers to not play on locked cam only. And honestly, the only part of advice that really helps against this is to utilize pings and pray that your jungler isn't playing on full mute, because then you can use those plays to accelerate your and your jungler's lead at the same time and basically win games for free. Big plays also come for the next part of this video. But before that, let's take a brief look at our full jungle tier list. To get this one done, we talked to countless specialists to make sure that those OP picks are absolute fire. First we have Nidalee, and before you get flustered we need to get one thing straight. Nidalee is a champion that will require a lot of practice, mechanical prowess and a clean decision making to turn her into a true menace. One of the most important things for Nidalee is tempo and invading. Learning about the enemy's most typical jungle path and finding ways to kill them is your go-to move. Furthermore, there's something that people continuously do wrong and it's all about patience and foresight. Don't just throw your spear for fun, especially if you still have red buff. You're an assassin type jungler and your spear's hitbox box is rather small. Throw it from out of vision or use the following trick. This trick is as simple as it is powerful. With red buff and the fact that you're a ranged champion with a gap closer, you could use your auto attacks to apply pressure. Don't forget that the enemy champion has to mentally deal with your spear's cooldown and if they get attacked, even flash won't help them. As a consequence, you want to put them in a spot in which they have to blow their summoner spell before you use your vital cooldown. Other than that, do yourself a favor, invest into a rocket belt and the magi stocks. Now that we have given you a high skill sealing AP carry for the jungle, we move over to an AD type of carry. Belvef recently received a change to her monster modifier. Given that this is the ability Belvef is spamming during her jungle clear, as well as the one she's maxing out first is kind of a big deal for her. As a champion, you're able to gank early on, but your biggest and earliest power spike comes at level 6. Once you're able to pick up those void corals, you're truly unleashed when it comes to carrying potential. So no worries if you don't get off any place before level 6, if anything, you can be really happy happy with that outcome as you're a hyper scaling champion. Scaling also comes in the hard form for our mid lane tier list as Rod of Ages still hasn't been touched properly. First however, let's take a look at our current standings. 
Funnily enough, both of the champions we featured in the low elo tier list are also absolutely broken for higher elos. Anivia and Cassiopeia still rock with the Rod of Ages and Gragas also has a major place in the mid lane. Surely, speaking about this over and over again will get boring, so we prepare two other picks for you. Victor is a decently strong laner with a brutal scaling into the later stages of the game. Be it as an abusive first strike money printer against melee champions or brutal lane dominion with Aerie. Whatever you want, Victor's got it. Contrary to a lot of other mages, movement is much more important for Victor as every cooldown of his is absolutely vital. Starting with a typical trading pattern of resetting your auto attack with your Q and making sure that you're not griefing yourself with typical auto cast on your E will be the foundation of your gameplay. In addition to that, you're also very CS hungry as you're not one of those I run around the map type of champions that bank on the enemy being absolutely blind. Your greatest asset, however, is your ultimate during objective fights and I ask you to view it from a different perspective after this. Your ultimate isn't only a tool to cancel channels or to deal damage, it's also to control space. The enemy backline might get cut off from their frontline if you place it strategically. With progressing game time, this becomes even more important since not everyone is able to chill in your chaos storm without just dying. Since we've briefly talked about the run around the map champions, I think it's mandatory to give Akshan some spotlight. This champion is the embodiment of going rogue and strikes fear into most enemies. For an assassin like AD carry, one might think that his wave clear is lacking, but that's not really the case. With the Q Max, you can soak waves super fast and start unleashing your terror on the rift. And for mid lane, there's an absolutely broken trick that most people don't use or even pay attention to. Usually, you'd avoid a ward when the enemy places it, but what about using it to your advantage? Leaving towards a certain lane and then turning around in stealth can catch people off guard a lot of times. Not only that, you're basically applying pressure to a lane you're not even going to. Not to mention that if your enemy lane is a little bit drowsy, he might forget about your existence too, and we all know what happens if you encounter an Akshan in the river. For our next list, we are going to dive into the AD carry role, so feel free to observe the list. As we reach the higher elos, we can now finally abuse the laning power of Karthus to its fullest and wreak havoc. To this day, people still believe Karthus is a weak laner or jungler, which doesn't make any sense. If anything, he's just not that popular. Just listen to the following and take it with a grain of salt. Imagine you could play the AD carry role and die very often and yet impact the game positively thanks to your champion's kit. Sounds convincing? Then why aren't you playing Karthus? You can have both, lane dominance with the proper support or chill relax weak side gaming, clearing waves and scaling to infinity. If playing AP champion isn't your type of thing, then you can still pick up Zaya. This champion went missing on our last tier list due to a little accident, but she's back in full force. Fundamentally speaking, Zaya is a great champion when it comes to playing front to back. If the entire enemy team wants to dive into your team, your champion will become substantially stronger. They have to constantly deal with the potential fear of your feathers being pulled back and getting nuked in the process. This also leads them to move in certain directions to avoid that from happening. With Navori being an insane second item on her, this will further empower her kit and make it even more difficult for the enemy to find openings against her. Adding to all those tools, she also has another tool for self peel, and Bloodthirst as a third item choice makes it even more difficult to kill her. Before we check out the crank, let's take a look at our full support tier list. Another champion that's also quite difficult to face is Blitzcrank. This champion's creativity and impact is further amplified by one simple minor rune and that's Hexflash. With Hexflash, you can basically trade your flash almost instantly for an enemies. Once that happens, it's time for you to abuse bushes and apply constant pressure. You not being seen is often a bigger threat than when you're visible on their screens. To make full use of your Hexflash rune though, you gotta make sure to look for proactive plays around the map. Map. Flashing into mid lane from the Raptor Pit or avoiding certain vaults with the power of Hex Flash. When it comes to that, it's all up to your skill. What requires barely any skill, however, is Glacial Augment. If you get into the enemy's melee range without blowing your hook and get off an E, then all counterplay is gone and they'll be slowed for ages and they will not get out of your grasp anymore. Our next champion offers a similar embrace to you, and it's the last embrace from Senna. This lovely lady is an absolute demon when it comes to bullying people out of lane, scaling and taking over games. In this case, I'm not talking about the Heartsteel tank build, but the Eclipse carry build. This will allow you to demolish people with short traits and all ends. If constantly bullying your opponent with auto attacks is your thing, then Senna will be the love of your life as she's the queen of doing so. Just don't commit one certain error. Don't pick into the following champion. Historically speaking, 
looking, our next pick has been pretty decent into Senna. With Seraphine, you have a combination of an enchanter that can counter engage, engage and sustain. Not only that, this champion also offers you the benefits of being able to single-handedly carry or assume a supportive position with a minimal to no effort. Just make sure that you put 3 points into your Q and then max out your W as fast as possible. This will be your most vital spell for teamfight next to your ultimate and your roots utility. Honestly, if you want to climb, play that champion, but if you want some more detailed advice, you should most certainly take a look at one of our master classes or services. An advanced class with Sneaky in the bot lane or General Sniper telling you how to carry your heavyweight world championship winner teammates. We got it all, just check it out in the description below. With that, we conclude today's video. Thank you all for watching and don't forget to leave a like and sub to the channel if you want to stay updated on everything League.